afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Rio here, and welcome to another one of my lovely Aerospace Dimension videos. Now, today I'm talking about Module 1, Chapter 2, which is actually a relatively short chapter in the module. And the main stuff that it talks about is how gliders work and the different components of the glider. So let's just jump into it. One of the major concepts that this chapter talks about is how thermals work and how when air is warmed by the sun, it rises and it cools off. And in fact, every 1,000 feet up you go, it loses two degrees Celsius, or also known as three and a half degrees Fahrenheit for every 1,000 feet gained. When the atmosphere is most resistant to this like convection that's happening where the, the sun is heating up the air and it rises is when the air is called stable. When the air rises and you're riding in a glider, that's something called a thermal. So as you're flying in the glider, then that air helps keep the glider up in the air for a longer amount of time. And gliders fly by being brought up into the air by either a winch or a tow plane. You may not know what a winch is, and here's a quick overview of what that is. Basically, there's a hook that goes onto the front of the glider right here, and it's wound up very tightly in a little box. And this cable is yanked very tightly by this box that is spinning very rapidly, at such a rate that it shoots the glider up in the air because of how fast it's pulling the line and it's almost like a roller coaster going up i've actually had the opportunity to be in such a method and most times cap planes are done or cap planes tow the glider up and not through the winch method or at least i'm pretty sure but i i am not the best source for that because i've never actually gotten to fly in a glider here in the u.s through cap it was actually through the air cadets in Belgium. So the tow method is where the, the plane hooks on to the glider and it slowly takes the glider up with the plane and then let's, let's go and the glider continues on its own while the plane scoops away to another direction to avoid crossing paths because a glider is not a powered aircraft. It, it solely relies on thermals in order to maintain its altitude or how high off the ground it is. And since it doesn't have that ability to add in more power, the plane does not have the right of way. The glider has the right of way and the plane needs to leave its course for the glider to continue on whatever path it was going. Some short things about how gliders work. If you are 14 or over, you can solo in a glider, which is different from a powered aircraft, which requires you be 16 or over in order to do such a thing. There's plenty of opportunities to fly in CAP, including powered flight academies and unpowered flight academies or glider academies. And they're across the country. They're part of the system in Civil Air Patrol called the NCSA or the National Cadet Special Activity Program, where over the summer you can, you can sign up for doing stuff ahead of time and participate in those kind of fun summer activities, which is like in addition to like state level activities that are like encampment or the National Search and Rescue Emergency Services College. There's, there's a lot of different opportunities and those flight academies are a good way to get into flying if you are interested. And there's also flight scholarship opportunities to help pay for lessons if you're doing them outside of CAP or in CAP. There is an activity at the end of this chapter. If you would like to create the Zia glider, then feel free to do that. I will not be personally doing that on this channel, but if you have any questions for me about this chapter in module one, please leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all folks until next time. Toodles.